Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedboarding video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building in the world of Windenburg which is the world that we got from the expansion pack The Sims 4 Get Together and I'm going to be building a set of Parisian apartments that also feature a cafe as well as a patisserie. So to start off I would highly recommend that maybe you grab a cup of tea or maybe a cup of coffee or just something to snack on because I think and I, I do think I'm correct in saying this is going to be my longest video that I've got on the channel so far. Without the screenshots, it's currently standing at 45 minutes, 56 seconds. So it's basically a 46 minute video. And I had so much fun building this. And I'm not joking when I tell you, it took me the whole week. I started this build on Monday and I finished it today. And I've been working on it every single day this week. There was so much prep and planning that went into this build. And I'm so in love with the way it turned out. So I hope you guys like it. And I didn't mention it in the intro, which I should have done. But by the way, I'm building using custom content, which is so fun. I haven't done a build using custom content in, I think, like... I think my last one was the first video of this year in January. So, you know, it's been a while. I have been wanting to sit down and build something else using CC because I love it so much. But I like to space them out. You know, I understand that console players can't download CC and whatnot. But I had so much fun building this and I really hope you guys like it. I'm pretty sure I said I hope you enjoy it twice. But either way, moving on, I don't even know where to begin in terms of explaining this build and explaining what's going on the inside. So I think I'll start off with the apartments. So in total, there is three different apartments. I didn't necessarily decorate them in like a Parisian style on the inside. I mean, it might be, but I just... I just used custom content that I thought would go with the apartment and just look nice. I wanted the exterior though to really feel like it was set in Paris. Now I do want to classify right here right now. I have never been to Paris. I've been to France but and I feel like if you're someone from England maybe like the southeast of England you can probably relate to this. I've been to France but I went on a day trip when I was like in year seven in school so I, <laughs> I can't remember it. Never been to Paris. I was purely looking on you know like Pinterest, Google Images. I was trying to just combine loads of different buildings and apartments that I've seen and basically wrap it all into one build in the world of Windenburg which by the way if you're curious of what particular lot this is in the world if you look into the top left hand corner you'll see the original lot name on purpose and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before in previous videos but whenever I do my speed builds I purposely keep the name of the lot like the original lot name in the top left just because I don't know I'm off by heart and in case you ask me I don't <laughs> I don't want to not be able to tell you the answer so if you ever are wondering for this video and for future videos it's always in the top left where it's placed but yeah I was quite chuffed that I managed to fit three apartments a cafe and a pastry shop all onto a 30 by 20 and th there was still a little tiny bit of space at both like the front and the back of the build as well I didn't use every single grid that I could have but I feel like if I would have made it a bit bigger maybe it wouldn't have had the same effect because you can see the way that I've started building it normally if you're familiar with my videos I'll come in I'll do the whole shell and then I'll move on I'll do the roofing and then I'll do windows doors wallpapering and so on and so forth but with this one I wanted the windows to be like spaced out and there was enough room so they didn't look squished and they didn't look like oddly placed so I came in and I started building the right hand side one first did the windows figured out that one and then it moved up did the roof in and now you can see in that now you're seeing <laughs> now you can see i'm just focusing on like the middle section here and then at this way i was able to do the roof in because the roof in on the right hand side kind of needed to go into a building and luckily there was like this little skinny building in the middle and it kind of it just goes together like a puzzle it just it really works and like i've said i'm i'm just so happy with this build and i'm really proud of it and yeah i really hope i pulled it off and i'm really sorry if i didn't do it justice but anyway getting on and actually talking about the custom content that i'm using so i'm linking absolutely everything in the description box down below i think i might make it though so it's going to be a google like doc or like a google sheet so when you go and click on the link instead of having like a million different links in the description box you click on the one link and then it takes you to a google sheet and then have the individual links that way just because the current google doc that i've got on my other monitor it's three pages long and when i tell you i didn't hold back with the custom content in this build i really did not hold back basically the reason why it all started was on sunday I basically, I was playing with my current household and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. I was playing with my current household, they moved into a new home and so I thought, you know what, I want to go and download this one piece of CC and I'll tell you what the CC was. I, did, I didn't use it in this build because it kind of wouldn't have made sense but it was like a little rabbit house. I can't remember the creator's name but I'll link them as well in the Google Doc, why not? But they basically are someone that has like 
squirrels that you can put into your sims gardens and there's also fluffy cows you know them highland cows the really fluffy ones they have them on their page basically i want you to go and download some rabbits <laughs> my intention to go and download some rabbits i got the rabbits but i also got three and a half gigabyte folder worth of new custom content to go along with it and that was just on sunday so i literally went in to download this one thing and i just filled my game with brand new custom content and i was just so inspired by some of the stuff that i had downloaded I just really wanted to build something with it and I don't know if it's just me but I feel like with spring and Paris and you know it just it kind of goes together I mean it's not really spring yet it doesn't feel like spring at all anyway but I don't know I just I was really in the mood to build something Parisian and I thought why not build an apartment complex I've never built a set of apartments before it was definitely quite challenging and like I said I started it on Monday and I finished it today so it was it was quite time consuming of purely just the recorded footage which wasn't including the time that it took me to plan out the build the time that it took for me to go and find some other things for it which I'll get on and talk about in just a second just in total recorded footage I had nine hours and nine minutes exactly worth of footage for this build so I mean a 45 minute video that's quite good going I think from nine hours I, I didn't want to cut too much out the only two things that I cut out was one of the bathrooms, because the apartments, by the way, they're four apartments. There is three kitchens, three bathrooms. There's actually four bedrooms because one apartment has two bedrooms and the other two only have like a single bedroom. But they're fully fleshed out apartments. But two of the bathrooms look quite similar in terms of like overall themes. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to keep it in if you're basically going to see this bathroom in like five minutes anyway. So I decided to cut out one of the bathrooms and then also the post room at the back of like the reception. Because downstairs there's like a little office desk, you know, your sims can go and get their Amazon parcels and, you know, go and get their letters and posts and whatnot. But behind that, it goes into some double doors and there's a load of different letter boxes. To be honest, there's not really much in there and there's not really much... I mean, what do you add into a room that's just for your post? <laughs> there's not really too much. I think I ended up putting like an armchair, maybe a plant in the corner, and I may, a load of different letter boxes, maybe like a rug on the floor, and that is pretty much it. There wasn't too much, but yeah, it was a little bit boring as well, that room. And so regardless, though, it will be in the screenshots if you're curious of what the postal room in this apartment complex looks like but anyway as you can see i'm just going around and doing the floor plan the floor plan was quite difficult because where the windows go all the way around trying to fit the walls in between them it was a bit fiddly now you might notice because i'm put, gonna put it out in probably about two seconds i use a spiral staircase within this build which is functional i say it's functional your sims won't literally walk up the stairs but your sims will be able to teleport. It basically works the same way as, you know the apartments that we've got in San Marshuno, basically works the exact same way as that. Your sims will kind of like teleport <laughs> to the other side, or well, I say teleport to the other side, teleport upstairs or downstairs, you, you know what I mean. But I was originally thinking to add a spiral staircase into each one of the apartments, you know, I feel like that's quite a thing in Paris. Maybe I'm wrong, again, like I've said, I haven't been to Paris, so please do correct me if I'm wrong, but I felt like a spiral staircase in a Parisian apartment, it just, it went really nicely. But when I was originally putting it in, and I, so basically originally when I did the floor plan, I did three spiral staircases in each one of the apartments. My sim might be on the right hand side one, and then they might like teleport, but somehow end up on the other side of the apartment complex. Like, it wasn't very realistic. But then I ended up just reworking it, so now both of the end apartments have like normal standard staircases, and then the middle one has a spiral one. Because the middle one's... You know, it's quite a skinny apartment. It really works though, and I love, I mean, I love every single one of the apartments. I love all three of them. But for the middle one, I tried to have a bit of a contrast because where they're all so close together, they're literally just a wall away from each other. I wanted to use this panel in, which I think is from Harry's Brownstone collection, and don't quote me on that. Again, everything that I will use in this video is going to be linked in the description box down below. But I wanted to use this panel in, in every single apartment, but then I didn't want it to seem like all one apartment. So what I ended up doing was I got the same wallpaper, and I used the same wallpaper in all the apartments, but I just used a different swatch. So in the middle one, I went for this, I believe off memory, it was kind of like a off black, almost like a greyy, I think it had like tints of like green in it. It's just this really beautiful dark coloured wallpaper, but where it's smack bang in the middle of all three apartments, you're just easy being able to like identify which apartment's what. And I felt like if I were to use the same white panelling for every single one, it would have just looked like one really big apartment. Which in all fairness, if you wanted to, you could 100% download this and just use it as one apartment. You know, delete the individual like front doors and delete the individual doorbells and stuff. Because I haven't done it yet and I'll do it once I finish the apartments, but in like the hallway area outside of them, I had like a little hallway section. They've got their own individual doorbells and I tried to use doors, which I can't remember what the doors are from, what pack they're from, 
but I tried to use the doors that had like little letter boxes and little knockers because you know it's more realistic. Something else that I tried to do in all the apartments as well was I use these little like outlets and light switches. Honestly, it's the small details like light switches and outlets and you know, just the smaller things. Honestly, it makes me so happy and I got to use a bunch of them within all the apartments. You don't see me individually place them because I found out that it can be quite tedious when you're trying to place them like in line with each other and trying to place, place them like the correct placement. And so you only see me do it, I believe, for this apartment. And then I do the other two apartments off camera as well as like the calf and the bakery, they also have light switches and outlets. But again, I do them off camera and you'll see them in the screenshots anyway. But getting on and finally talking about this apartment. So as you can see, the floor plan for it ended up being quite open. So you see them walking through the front door, they've got a little side table. It's got like a little telephone on it. It's got a little section for your sims to put their keys on. And there is a legit like little clutter of keys and a phone. Honestly, custom content is so adorable. I was having the absolute time of my life when I was decorating this apartment. Because the thing is, I didn't, you know whenever you're decorating a house or apartment in the game, and you're like, ah, I've used the tissue box about 10 times now. I've used this same photo frame about 20 times now, because you always go to the same things. Where there was so much custom content within my game, I didn't have that problem. If anything, I was struggling on choosing on what to use. And to be honest with you, thinking about it, it's probably half the reason why it took me so long to build this whole entire, I was about to say house, but it's not really a house, it's an apartment, but then there's multiple, the whole entire, just this, this, this lot, it took me a while. And half the reason was probably because it was basically like I was playing The Sims 5. There were so many things that I hadn't seen before and I was kind of discovering as I was going through the speed build. You might be able to notice at some points I might pull things out and then look at them and put them away. It's because I was finding them in the catalogue as I was filming. I was, it was so enjoyable. I'll tell you that one for free. But anyway, as you can see, I've now moved on and I've started furnishing the first kitchen. In here, I believe I went for Hey Harry's County or, no, not County, Country Kitchen. CC, which is confusing because we have the country kitchen kit, but <laughs> there was a country kitchen collection by Harry, which came out way before the country kitchen kit. This came out before kits were even a thing, which actually, that reminds me, we're getting a new kit next week. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was something to do with decor to the max, something along the lines of that. What I've seen from the screenshots, all I'm going to say is I hope there's some more neutral swatches of the furniture and the wallpaper because they're nice, but the, the kind of like preview that we've got of this kit that's meant to be coming out, it's a bit too colourful for my liking. Don't get me wrong, I do love a bit of colour here and there. But in terms of overall, I feel like it can, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like to stick to like my neutrals, my beiges, my creams. So I hope all of the new stuff in the new kit, when it comes out, I hope it's, I hope it's got some plain swatches, you know, you've got to have a range of different swatches for all the different kind of builds that you can do. But yeah, anyway, moving on from that, as you can see, I've now moved on to the upstairs portion of this first apartment. And I've started off by furnishing the hallway. This hallway took me half hour real time. I don't know why it took me so long, honestly. I was just proper doodallying. That's the only way I can describe it. To be honest, if you really wanted to, you could probably make this hallway into a toddler's bedroom or something like that, like a small space, because it's quite a big hallway and I didn't want to just put a plant and call it a day. I wanted to decorate it. I wanted it to be, you know, it feel like a lived in apartment. And so I ended up placing down a fireplace, these two little armchairs. You see that little cart behind? Like that, first of all, that took me so long <laughs> to figure out what to clutter that up with because I've got that in my own personal gameplay. Like my current household, they've got that because I mean, no one actually cares about my current household, but they was living in an apartment and obviously with apartments, they're quite small. So I downloaded that, which is from Ravishine. It works exactly the same as the big bars. You know, them really obnoxiously long ones. And to be fair, actually, we do have a few two tile ones, but it's just so perfect for smaller spaces. But for some reason, it took me so long and I couldn't figure out what to clutter it up with. It ended up being like a bunch of wine bottles and some wine glasses and there's probably a book or two. I say probably because I don't know if anyone's gonna notice throughout this video. Like, you're gonna notice it now, but the amount of different books that I was placing everywhere in the apartment and I'm pretty sure downstairs as well. I was just, there were so many different decorational books and just clutter pieces of these beautiful books with these bookends and some that are just kind of like free books that look like they've just been thrown on the floor. I had the time of my life. There are so many different books and plants as well. I've got a lot of custom content plants. You can see I've just placed one in the corner of this bedroom. I'm not sure by the way how many different packs that I use in terms of you know the packs that we have in the game like cats and dogs, city living, all the different expansion packs and whatnot. 
I don't think I use that much of paid content. I've really tried to be mindful with this one because where I had access to so much custom content within my game, I try to keep the amount of purchable, purchable? purchasable, you know what I mean, and the amount of packs that you, you know, like paid content within the game, like all the different kits and stuff packs and whatnot, I tried to keep it to a minimum because I had the option to use custom content and so like I know that I use Blooming Rooms because I use that, you know, that one hanging plant, I use that a ton of times, but like if you've got, what I might do actually, think about it, I did this in my last CC build, what I'll do is when I upload this to the gallery, I'll go through and I'll see how many things that I've used from each of the individual packs. And then if you're not aware, every single video, I link every single pack that I've used within that build. What I'll do is next to the pack that I've used, if I've used it, I'll put in brackets how many items I've used from that pack. Because honestly, I really don't think I use that many. Maybe I used, I what well, I use Get to Work because of the retail system downstairs in the bakery. And I use the Blooming Rooms kit. But apart from that, nothing really stands out to me. I mean, I would have used like the odd one or two. Actually, no, I do. I know that I used a rug from Snowy Escape because if you've watched my video, you've seen me do this so many times before. But I love it when you have like a leaning mirror and then you put a little fluffy rug underneath it. I always use the one from Snowy Escape and I did it in the next apartment, which I'm just about to move on to. But yeah, I'll do that in the description box down below because then it's easier for you to see what packs that you're going to need because I really don't feel like I use that much in terms of like paid content but anyway as you can see I'm just wrapping up this first apartment now I really wish there was enough space in one of the other apartments to have like another kids room or another toddlers room or do you know what I'm even going to say it and even a nursery for an object baby just because playing around with the custom content for children in the game is just so much fun there is this one pack by Charlie Pancakes it's called the small pack it is honestly it's adorable you would have seen it in the little animal prints that i put on the wall they are, i believe are from the small cc pack they are just i love using them in my own personal gameplay they're just adorable there's like little koalas and like sheep and other animals that i can't think of the name of but honestly i had so much fun doing it children's rooms using custom content i do it a lot in my own personal gameplay but you know i don't really do that many cc builds which i really want to start doing more because when you play with cc and when you build with cc it really does feel like you've got a whole brand new game. And when I say that, by the way, I don't mean that I will stop doing non-CC builds. I would never stop doing non-CC builds. I think if I was to do more CC builds and like do it continuously, I'd probably stick to my one non-CC build a week and then do a CC build on top of that. Does that make sense? Just because I know some people don't play with CC, some people play on console and you can't have CC on console, and some people just, you know, People like to play vanilla and that's absolutely fine and I still want to do builds that are just using paid content within the game. But when I do builds like this, it does honestly, it does make me think about it because it's just so enjoyable and there is, there is honestly so many options. If you're thinking about one thing, so put it for example, I use it in the next apartment because we've now moved on, as you might be able to notice, into the second apartment. But in the third apartment, I really wanted, you know, like one of them old style telephones with like the cord and I say like the cord I grew up with a, with a phone with a cord but you know like the retro style ones I really wanted to find a bit of CC that looked exactly like that honestly I googled it came up first search result there everything that you would want within custom content in the sims it's out there somewhere and it's just it's endless but anyway as you can see it and I've already mentioned I've now moved on into the second apartment. So this is the apartment that's got the spiral staircase. Now I do wanna say, I'm gonna of course, like I've already mentioned, leave the links to everything in the description box, whether it be on a Google sheet, whether it just be the links itself, whatnot. But with the staircase, you need two mods for them to work. You need the staircase itself, and then you need another mod, which is by Ravachine, and they kind of go hand in hand together, and you need both parts <laughs> for it to be usable. But don't worry, I'll try and like highlight that, put it in bold or something, so when you come to download all the custom content, if you do want to, then it'll just be easy to identify. But when I came around to play this in this build, which by the way, feels like this is now a good time to mention, as always, it's been play tested. I ran into one problem, and I was about to say minor problem. At the time, I thought it was a major problem, but it, no, it, to be honest, it did actually turn out to be a minor problem. But basically, underneath the staircase, you would have seen I put an R easel, and then the other side, I put some storage units, these like brown ones, Basically, they were covering where my sim needed like to teleport to go up. You know how I said about how they don't walk, they just kind of like teleport. They basically just like lift. Well, they don't actually lift, don't worry, you're not gonna see your sims fire unless they're a spellcaster. But basically, 
I blocked the path so then my sim couldn't get upstairs and at first I was really worried because I was thinking how how I made this whole entire apartment and your sims can't even get upstairs but it was just because the art easel was in the way I just moved it to the other side and then deleted them brown storage things and then once once that was fixed everything else works absolutely fine so you're not gonna run into any problems there was like small minor things that I ran into like for example so it might be a little bit too close to another object and your sims just couldn't get to it and just like small little minor things like that but then since then I've corrected them all and yeah it's a fully usable three apartment pastry shop and cafe if you want it to and also I'm gonna link some mods but I'm gonna talk about it when I move on into the retail and into the pastry shop Right now, I just want to focus on what I'm doing on the screen. And you can see that I've now moved on and I've started furnishing the second kitchen. How nice is this kitchen? I'm honestly, I'm thinking now, this is the kind of colour scheme that I would want my dream kitchen to be. There is just something about having this really kind of like orangey wood. It's not orange, but you know, like a more orangey wood, if you know what I mean, with this black count. It just, it works so nicely. And I'm so in love with the kitchen. It's probably my favourite kitchen out of the three. But then I say that and I think about it and I do actually like all of them as equally but I just love the whole entire colour scheme of this middle apartment. Now where I wasn't building for my save bar because I'm using custom content, I didn't really stick to like a certain theme and a certain kind of storyline that I was going along with for The Sims. But then as I was building I was thinking that the sim that lives in this apartment was probably going to be, I was more so thinking a man but of course you can have any type of sim that you want and I was thinking that maybe they're going to be someone who wants to be an aspiring artist you know they want to paint paintings for a living only because of the art he's all downstairs but then I also end up adding a little grand piano oh you know whenever I do that trick when I get a side table and I move it up and I merge the keyboard in to make it look like a smaller piano there is a cc version of a small piano and I'm just about to put it out you can see that I've just pulled it out. How nice is that? Come on, why don't we have that in The Sims 4, in the actual Sims 4, like, without custom content? That is just so nice. And this is one of the things I downloaded on Sunday. So this is uh, this is something that I didn't previously have in my game. Because the thing is, as well now, I've got so much custom content to play with for my own personal household. I'm going to have so much fun <laughs> just decorating their whole entire house because they've just moved house. But again, you probably don't want to know about my current household. You probably want to know about what's on the screen. So as you can see, I've now just moved on to the upstairs penthouse. So I've got to mention, I think anyway, the middle apartment is a penthouse. So the other two, they do have balconies, which by the way, both the balconies your sims can go out onto, but the top one, where is the skinnier apartment? I thought, oh come on, you've got to give them somewhere else because they're probably paying the same amount in rent. You've got to make it a little bit more special. And so the third apartment has a penthouse and there's a balcony your sims can go out there and to be honest with you if you really wanted to if you wanted to download this you could probably expand i say you could probably you could 100 percent expand on the walls and make it so you know the wall that's behind the bed you could expand on that and make it so there's more rooms up here if you wanted to have maybe an extra child or maybe you've got more rooms that you want to build maybe you want to build a whole entire office or maybe you want to build a whole entire music room because I put it onto the top floor, the other two like apartments, you know how I did it at the front where you saw the skinny one in the middle and then the two either side, when it came round to doing the roofing, because I knew I wanted to have the penthouse up here, I didn't want to place things on the wall and then for like, them to be floating and them to look weird. And, you know, I wanted you to still have the same effect. So what I did is I put the platforms right up. If I was you and you wanted to have a bigger like penthouse space, lower the platforms down, expand it and you could have a huge penthouse up here if you really wanted to of course I, di I didn't feel like it was necessary in this build but it's just an idea if you wanted a bigger penthouse but anyway as you can see in this room I decided to go for a bed which is by Mishuno Sun I spent so long I cut it out <laughs> but I spent so long deciding on what bed I wanted to use for this bedroom honestly I was so indecisive because there are so many different CC beds that I've got that just kind of went with the rest of the apartment and I wanted it to all match as well I didn't want to have like a really ultra modern you know like dark almost kind of like moody apartment downstairs go upstairs and have like a really light florally kind of apartment of I wouldn't do that but do you know what I mean like I didn't want there to be a big contrast and so I, just, I took my time deciding on that bed but I ended up going for one which is by Mishuno Sun and they also have a bedroom collection I say they also have a I'm pretty sure they have like three maybe possibly even more than that bedroom collections they have like an office collection they have 
the art collection, the art easel, even that was CC what I used and that was by Machino Sun as well. Honestly, custom content. I have just spent the past 25 minutes just gushing over it, but it is just so good. But now, as you can see, I've now moved on. I started furnishing one of the bathrooms. So like I've already mentioned, that there is three. Each apartment has their own. I'm only showing two though, because two of them are quite similar. This one, you'll see why I'm showing this one and the next one, because they're completely different. This one is very ultra modern, very like marble wall. We've got this, I don't even know what to term that tile floor as. Absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's by Hey Harry. But then we've got these really modern sinks that are kind of like floating. I, I did the custom shower thing again. If you watch my last video when I built a like Maldives inspired villa, I did that in that build and I bought it into this build as well because there is custom showers, but they're kind of like the showers that you put onto the wall and they haven't really got anything around them. There is one, I'm pretty sure that I used it in the second bathroom, but where this was such a big bathroom, I wanted to make use as all the space that I could possible. And so I decided to make a little custom shower. But over here, I'm just cluttering up this shelf, you know, putting some shampoo bottles. I don't know what CC creator it is, but someone's got some CC, which is basically like Lush. You know, Lush products, the, I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes you go into a Lush shop and you get a bit of a headache because it is such a strong smell because they do like bath bombs and scrubs and whatnot. Someone has got like CC for that in the game and I put it into that bathroom. Honestly, I just, I love it so much. But now as you can see, I have moved on into the third and the final apartment. We still got the retail shop and we still got the cafe to go, but this is the last of the apartments. And there is a reason in why I did them first and I'm gonna explain it to you. So basically at the start of the week when I came in to do this build, I had it set in my mind that I wanted to build a Parisian apartment complex. I wanted there to be a patisserie. I wanted there to be somewhere where your sims could go and buy their wedding cakes. I also wanted there to be like a calf system. And then I also wanted there to be a bridal store. But to my <laughs> sad surprise, I couldn't build a bridal store because of The Sims 4. Because this, the game is just, it's just a bit broken. I mean, I say it's a bit broken. The game, I feel like as we all know, there's a lot of different bugs and a lot of different glitches and a lot of different reasons for your game to crash. And one of the reasons why your game might crash is because if you place down a lot that has a mannequin in it, if it's from your library, from the gallery, if you place it down, what I found anyway, if you place it down in Build and Buy, it's absolutely fine. But if you place one down from the library, or if you place one down from you know like the gallery that you've downloaded, your game's gonna crash. Like There is no way around it. And it's so, annoying because I really wanted to build a bridal shop because you know my wedding stories has just come out we have the ability to have retail shops we have the ability to be able to make a bridal shop but because the sims will get to work it, it <laughs> ironically it doesn't work I was absolutely gutted you know when I said it took days of planning and prepping for this build I spent like a whole day just searching for bridal custom content bridal dresses to dress the mannequins in you know I wanted to go all out and I have now, I mean, I've got a lot of <laughs> wedding dresses. If anyone wants any links, let me know. But it's not the point. I, I I, really wanted to build a bridal store. And unfortunately, because the game is just so bugged and glitchy, I can't. And I just really want the Sims team to update it. So maybe if they ever do update it, I say maybe if they ever do, I want to make like a bridal thing for my save file. Now we've got my wedding stories. You know, you can go and buy your wedding cake. You can also, by the way, go and buy your wedding cake downstairs because in the patisserie, there is like a section for croissants and donuts and breads and, you know, like sweet treats. But then I also wanted to include all the new wedding cakes that we got from the latest game pack. And so if your Sims don't want to travel all the way to Tortosa, you could download this and get them just to go to Windenburg or, you know, wherever you place it. But anyway, yeah, that was, that was kind of like the plan of the build at the start of the week. Bridal shop and then like a wedding cake shop, patisserie, cafe. But I mean, I still am really happy, don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with the way this build ended up turning out with a cafe because there is so many different custom content cafe sets. Like I've got one from Harry, which is called Spoons. Little Deke has got one, which I think is called Rise and Grind. And then Piero Sim has got one, which is called, I think, Cold Brew. So there's, there's a ton of different custom content out there for like retail lots, community lots. I say Harry's one is for a cafe. I think it's meant to be for a restaurant, but there is an espresso bar, you know, the one that you get with get together in the whole cafe system and whatnot. But yeah, so I decided to make it into a cafe and I really like the way it turned out. I, I 
honestly as well actually the lighting in that lot is absolutely beautiful i'm yet to take the screenshots because i came into my game and when i was playtesting it and i came in and the lighting was just shining down and it's just it's i, I don't want to spoil it because you can see it in a minute but i really like the way the the coffee shop ended up turning out because i was going to make it so the retail and the coffee shop were going to be into one and actually also that reminds me i'm going to leave some links to some mods in the description box so you could download this lot which I think I'm going to list it on the gallery to be a retail lot. Obviously your sims can just live upstairs, they just don't have to ever leave. But I'm going to leave some different links. I think I'm going to have one for Living Business Mod, which is by Little Miss Sam. And then there's also a mod. So if you own it as the retail shop downstairs, like the patisserie, and you know your sim is selling croissants left, right and centre, if you wanted to, you could also get a barista to go into the cafe at the end of the street if you want. I say at the end of the street, you know, at the end of the row of like townhouse building apartment complex thing, you could basically get a barista hired and it won't charge your sims. And I, I was about to say I found this mod, I didn't, that's a big fat lie to you all. I didn't find this mod, one of you lot actually found this mod and sent it to me. And to be honest, they actually helped me out quite a lot with this build because they saw the whole process of it and they were also advising me and they were also gave me the heads up about the bridal situation so i mean you know exactly who you are and i cannot thank you enough for that also that actually reminds me to bring up my discord i mentioned i think it was like two two videos ago that i wanted to start a discord and you know show you all my builds and show you and get ideas from you all because i mean this past week from one of you megan been absolutely so helpful but I need to figure out how to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and teach myself how to create a Discord and then once I've taught myself, I will have one because I said it would be really embarrassing if I created one and no one, no one would join it. But a lot of you said that you would in, you, you'd join it and that, that gives me some confidence. So I'm gonna learn how to do it and then once I've done it, I will have a link in my description box, but I haven't got around to it yet because I, I just haven't learned how to make one yet. But yeah, anyway, getting on and talking a little bit more about this build. So as you can see, I'm just furnishing this little vanity area over here. Now, with Felix Andre and Hey Harry, they did recently bring out a new CC pack, which was called Harlux. And I believe it was inspired by a recent holiday that they went on. I can't remember where it was that they went on holiday, but it was inspired by a recent holiday that they went on. And there was a vanity set within the CC pack, but I haven't played around with a CC pack in my own personal gameplay too much. So what I did is I just got this vanity table, which is Fry Mushino Sun, and then I just placed down loads of different like individual pieces of makeup. I think the individual pieces of makeup are from Ravasheen, I think off memory. I have so much of their custom content and mods in my game. The One of the little things I placed down onto the bedside table in this room was a diffuser that is from them as well. The bar cart is from them. What else is there from them? Oh, when we moved downstairs into the patisserie area, you know the cupcake machine? You know how I've said before how it is so obnoxiously big? Like, why is it that big? Why couldn't you just make it into like a, a, a standard mixture or something? Well, they've actually made it so a little piping bag is now the cupcake machine and you can just make the cupcakes and the pastries straight away. You don't have to faff about with buying that really expensive cupcake machine because the thing is as well, it ain't cheap. That's good. That's a good couple like... I think it's 15,000 simoleons off memory. All I know is it's not cheap. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, moving on from that, as you can see, I've now moved on into the next area, which is downstairs into like this little hallway situation. Now you can see over here, I'm trying to create like a little, like an office space for like the receptionist, you know, someone that works within the building, takes in the post, does all the emails and whatnot. I wanted to create them like a little workspace. Of course, this will probably be empty if you want to download it, but I wanted to, you know, stick with a realistic idea of there might be someone that comes here. I mean, if you've got neighbours, they might pop down here. As well, actually, that got me thinking, with the, like, the whole entire house, if you wanted to download it, you can live in it by a mod and have it as a retail. And then, as well as that, you can also get roommates. So if you've only got a single sim, or maybe you've got a family with a kid and they could go into the first apartment, if you wanted to fill out the other apartments, if I was you, honestly, I would just do the system where you can like hire roommates. I've used that in my own personal gameplay recently. My, I feel like I've talked about my current household. I'm honestly, you know when you go through a phase and you're absolutely obsessed with your current household, that's me at the minute. But my current household, they did have a roommate. They actually had multiple roommates because I didn't like some of them, so I got them to live. But it's a really good system and they will pay you rent. You know, I think it depends on the amount of things that they have around them, right, around their bed. Because when I had next to nothing, 
my sims weren't getting as much money but then once my sims started to get a little bit more money and i could decorate a little bit more then i got more money in rent but i don't know if the utility bill was like like paid a part in that i'm not really too sure but if i was you and you wanted to download this and have your sims own the patisserie downstairs and then still have the other apartments but rent them out i would 100 percent use the roommate system because honestly it is really good but anyway as you can see i'm just going around and just playing about with this like lobby situation really didn't know what to furnish this with whenever i think of like apartment buildings and like their lobbies nine times out of ten you walk through the front door there is a little desk and there's someone sitting there on the computer but then you walk through there might be an elevator and then some stairs and that's it and also another thing actually that i found in my research and again please correct me if i'm wrong but apparently elevators aren't that common in Parisian apartments. Apparently it's more so stairs because I also do have a mod where you could basically have the apartment, not the apartments, the elevators, like the ones that we have with the city living apartments. I have a mod so we could place them down into my game, like anywhere. But I read up somewhere again that that's not a thing in Parisian apartments. So again, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I would, honestly, I'd like to be educated, but now moving on, you can see that I've now moved on into kind of like the downstairs open shop area. So this is what's going to be the patisserie. So basically when I was coming in and I wanted to you know, like figure out how to structure it out, I realized that the wall that I would want, the, you know, like the, the nice decorative items in the wall is going to be the wall that when you go into half wall up, half wall down mode, it's going to all disappear and i've mentioned this before but whenever i do my builds i like them to one look as nice as they can and two also be really easy for gameplay and so basically what i did is you see how the wall kind of like bumps out a bit it goes a bit diagonal and then it comes out well what i did is i got the wall and then i moved the platform to the very highest height that it would go basically that way when you go to half walls up half walls down this will still be visible. This will still act like the walls are like fully up, if that makes sense. So basically what I'm trying to say, long story short, is when you go into half walls up, half walls down, none of this is gonna float. Because when you use the move objects cheat and you get things to go to a certain height without them clipping to an object, things will tend to float. But if you've got a platform behind it, like I've done here, and like I did upstairs in the penthouse, it's not gonna float and it's just gonna be like a regular wall. I wanted to make a point of that. Just in case you're wondering, why it comes out it's just so when you're doing gameplay and you've got the half walls up half walls down because i feel like and i've said this before i feel like that's what most people tend to play with anyway i don't really ever know or i've never known anyway anyone to have played with like the walls completely down i've heard of some people playing with the walls completely up but either way i just wanted it to be easy for gameplay but as you can see in here i went for the same counters that i used in the first apartment the country kitchen ones from harry I honestly I love these so much and so I just want you to use them again they also come in like a bar counter version and you can see I've just used the cash register to put onto that area so you know your sims or well, say your sims are going to come up to the cash register but when it came around to playtesting this lot as a retail my sim was just standing there with like an ipad or something so I don't know if they actually use it because I didn't get I didn't see it get used in you know like playtesting but either way your sims can still sell the cake sell whatnot oh and also I do want to mention I've set all of the different cakes and the croissants and all the different things basically that your sims can bake i have set them for sale already so if you do want to download it you won't have to go around you know like fiddling with like all the different bits and bobs to try and figure out what's sellable and what's not all of like the bridal cakes the croissants not them ones on the little board you see on the corner like cabinet i've got some that's on a wooden board not them ones because they're purely decorative but they are by harry from the spoons collection but all of the ones that your sims can you know like physically make I've set for sale and obviously if you want to you can unset it and you know play around with it because you know you can do whatever you want once you download it but I just wanted to kind of have it set in stone that there is something so if you want to download it and get straight into playing there is that option for you but over here you can see I'm playing around with this little get to work what is it called like a like a fridge for all the cakes and the breads and stuff I think and I might be wrong here but I think if you put your sims like baking items or anything that they cooked into that when they're setting it for sale i believe it will stay fresher for longer because that was something that i ran into when i was playtesting it i was playtesting it and then you know the cakes were going off and it, i was just running all over it. Well, i wasn't actually running all over the place my sim was that is just a figure of speech but my sim bless them they were just going up down left right because i was trying to playtest other features of the build but then people were trying to buy cakes downstairs and then some of the cakes are spoiled and don't worry the cakes won't be spoiled if you download it off the gallery but 
when I was playtesting it, it was happening a lot and it was just, it was really infuriating. But over here, as you can see, I'm just placing down this shelving unit and putting loads of different like wedding cakes on it. The shelving unit is from Ravashin, I believe. And this was the first time that I had used all the different, I say used, actually looked at all the different wedding cakes that we got from the latest game pack. There's some questionable ones. I wanted there to be one of every single wedding cake though because you know, I might not like it, but you might love it. So I wanted to include at least one. I think I sized a few down, but they are 100%, they are there. There's like a hexagon one. There's one at the bottom, which is like pillows. It's like a pillow cake. It's actually quite cool, but yeah, there's every single type of wedding cake. And then at some of them, I have more swatches of them. There's one that's kind of like, a three-tiered cake and it's got all these different flowers and I think I placed down like a pink version, a blue version, or white version possibly. There's there's loads of different versions and colour swatches. And there's also actually one thing which is probably one of my favourite parts of like all of the different wedding cakes. There's one that is a cupcake. I think I placed down two versions of it. I think yeah I can I placed down one on the like the counter next to the sink and then there's another one which is on the rack. It's like your wedding cake is a bunch of cupcakes. Ideally for serving purposes that is probably, that's probably the most ideal situation but anyway as you can see I've now moved on to the other side of the complex building you know what's this thing what I'm building I don't even know what to term it as anymore but as you can see I've started off by furnishing the cafe so again it all works it it works really nicely as well and I'm just so happy the way it turned out and do you know what I was really chuffed with myself because when I was building this I just had it set to a residential lot type and with different community lots some of them might have different requirements and I couldn't remember off the top of my head what the cafe ones were and when I came round you know like setting it to be a caf to make sure that I had all the required things and you know setting it to be a retail I mean to be fair for a retail you only need a cash register so there's not too much that you can go wrong there with but when it came around to doing the calf, I was thinking, ah, I didn't actually think of any of like the lot requirements. I was just building what I thought would look good. I only missed out on one thing, which was like a coffee grinder or something. And I added it in and it fits in perfectly onto the counters and yeah, it works. But something as well that I wanted to mention. So all of these CC packs, like the cafe ones, like the spoons ones and whatnot, they have posters. Now I think, and I might be wrong here, so I am sorry if I'm wrong, but I think the posters are from the rise and grind one and they come in simlish they look like starbucks to me this is basically a french-ish version of starbucks in the sims i mean you can practically make starbucks if you want to in the sims that is definitely a thing people have done it before but it's just honestly i i was having the time of my life and look at all the different syrups on the little wall shelf that wall shelf by the way is from the oak house collection by piero sim i use that also in the retail as well. It is my favorite shelf to use in the game. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's got these like leather straps and I just love it. But as well, as you can see on the left-hand side of the counter over here, I've placed down some cake stands. Now these ones I think are from Oak House as well. I might be wrong there though, but they're, they're stands and you can put like cakes or any kind of food basically within them. Now I also set them for sale. So if you've got your retail lot sim owner, well, that was such a long window where I signed it. If you've got your retail shop owner on the other side, someone might wanna come over here and buy them. But the reason why I set them for sale is I'm pretty sure when you set food for sale, it doesn't get as smelly as quickly. And I didn't want you know to down you to download this and then all of a sudden everything's gone smelly and rotten. And so I tried to set all of the the food type of items, put it that way, the, the food in the game to be for sale. But if you want to, you can change that. And if you want to as well, if someone buys it, just restock it and you should get a fresh one, I think anyway. But anyway, as you can see over here, I just wanted to have like a little cozy seating area. I was thinking of my local coffee shop. And to be honest, I say my local, I feel like every coffee shop has like a nice little sofa area in front of the windows. I just thought you could have some Sims that maybe catching up, having a coffee on one of them next to it. I put this little handbag and it looks like someone's just sat down, you know, they've just got their coffee, they're having a chit chat, maybe they're just catching up with one of their friends or whatever. But over here, I'm just placing down loads of these high tables. I only have, I think, two tables which are on like the normal height. And I put them dead in the center because you can see in kind of like the middle of the calf, there's quite some dead space and I wanted to fill it out. And so I placed them down, but I also placed down like a little laptop onto one of these like barstool area counter thing, whatever you class it as. I don't know what to class it as, but 
these these seating areas you can see just about on the left hand side there's a little laptop so your sims could come here maybe do their uni work if you've got some students maybe if you've got someone that works from home maybe they want to step out of their bedroom or their office and they want to go work in a local coffee shop you could bring them here i also got to place down loads of these little individual mugs and like to go cups and whatnot Honestly, it just looks so realistic. But now you can see I've now moved on to the back of the ex back of the exterior, back to the exterior of the build. And I'm just gonna go around and play some more like little tables outside. And then also place down like some live edit menu items. So I placed down some rubbish that we got from the Eco Lifestyle but the live edit menu because I wanted it to feel realistic and realistically not every single street is going to be absolutely spotless clean and so I placed down just a minimal just just for a little small realistic touch and then I also placed down a drain I then placed down like a fire hydrant and then I think a tree and like a little tree stand and that is basically it so anyway guys I'm going to end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my origin ID is JessicaPyYT or you can just search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT or just the hashtag JessicaPy now, as this is a custom content build, you will have to enable the custom content tab. Otherwise, it will just completely be invisible to you on the gallery. But apart from that, thank you all so much for watching this video. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye, guys.